I have found that in life, it is best to embrace your contradictions and to not adhere too strongly to proclamations of things you would or never would do. If you live long enough, life has a funny way of making liars of us all. Do I contradict myself? Very well, then I contradict myself. I am large. I contain multitudes. Walt Whitman from Song of Myself. So, it is no surprise that when I said adamantly, even on this channel, that I do not use fountain pens that I cannot post, that I was destined to end up preferring a pen that is impossible to post. I think I even knew it at the time. Perhaps some part of our criticisms our cries of denial, thickly veiled suppressions of our truest feelings. We should all listen to them. So it was with the Mont Blanc Egyptomania. I knew that it did not post, that it could not post, the two pieces just do not fit together. But as with most of my pen purchases, it was my curiosity that compelled me. I had to know what that nib was like to write with. I already had the Mont Blanc 149 and was enjoying its large glittering gold nib. Its nib was smaller, yet boldly embossed with a sacred scarab in high detail and with a triangular breathing hole and it was soft it had a unique writing experience it was expressive and it felt like a vintage pen maybe this was its greatest trick making you feel as if it were something ancient or some pen from an adventure from an expedition on the Nile, taking notes on the ruins of Egypt on the way. This fountain pen is imbued with a deep romance for Egypt. And for a time long ago, when fountain pens were a new technology. It is full of design cues from older pens. It is smaller, more slender than modern pens, very elegant in the hand. Its barrel is faceted, reflecting the light like a black mirror. Its cap is large, round at the finial, with a coin edge. The Mont Blanc logo is obscured, toned down, in vintage gold. There is an engraved cartouche on the octagonal cap containing hieroglyphics representing Mont Blanc, or literally, White Stone Mountain. It has a very efficient internal piston fill mechanism that holds a decent amount of ink, enough to write for a week or more of daily journaling. I fill it normally with Gerban Eclat de Saphir, a saturated sapphire blue, 
a color like some Egyptian faience statue. I really prefer piston fill pens. I just love when a pen is self-contained and has a unified design without any cartridges or converters to fuss with. There's just something so alluring about that. This pen has become my firm favorite for my entire collection. I find myself reaching for it for correspondence, for journaling, and even for bringing to the office. The writing experience with this pen is extraordinary. The nib, being as soft as it is, is yielding, making it a joy to form your words with this cushioning nib of 14 karat gold. Although there is very little line variation, it is still a joy painting words with this lush nib and feed that puts down ink so consistently and so joyously. I love writing with this pen. I love how elegant it is how it makes me feel as if I'm connected to a hundred years of study of Egyptian history and of all the other associations that go with it, the heritage of Mont Blanc and just the way it feels in my hand. It is a true delight that beguiles me every time I use it and I just welcome an opportunity to bring it out and to journal for long periods. The Mont Blanc Egyptomania beguiles me and reminds me that there are many things in this world, beautiful things, things worthy of consideration and that when you write with an amazing pen, a pen that flashes and glistens in your hand like polished obsidian, whose gold nib is soft, expressive, and yielding with the curve of a line. It helps you to transcend the banality of everyday activities and put you in touch with something much more enduring. Beauty. So, what do you think of the Egyptomania pen by Mont Blanc? Do you find it as beguiling and interesting as I do? Have you had a pen that just really moved up the ranks of your favorites to just become your almost singular obsession? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy videos like this, subscribe. I'd appreciate having you among our ranks. Also, if you want to get more involved in this channel, consider becoming a member. There's a lot of fun behind the scenes, and I'd love to do a letter exchange with you if you become a Cognoscenti or Illuminati member. So I release new videos every week, and I have a live show on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I promise we will see each other again very soon, further up the road. So take care.